All right, we're gonna go ahead and try out the food items that came in this June 2018 Keto Box. This is part two of the video. Part one was the unboxing. If you want more information on the Keto Box or if you wanna see the unboxing, check out that video. In this one, we're gonna get right to it and start tasting this stuff. And here's everything that we're gonna be trying out. And the website where you can order these says that there are seven to 10 snacks in each box. And this one had eight items, but after I opened it, I realized that this one right here, I counted as one item, but it's the mushroom sampler box and it has eight mushroom drink packets. So that means that this one actually has 15 items. Now, granted, these are kind of small things in here. Actually, since we have this out, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these. You get a little information pamphlet right here, which is uh, it's pretty good because I didn't really know what these things were. But you're getting some elixir mixes, a couple of coffees, and a couple of hot cocoa mixes. You can see these are for different purposes, stress and sleep, antioxidant properties, energy performance, etc., etc. And they use different mushrooms in them. I guess it's basically like a, a drink mix or a coffee mix or a cocoa mix, but it contains some mushrooms too. And there's actually one really good piece of advice here. It says on these hot cocoa mixes to drink espresso style. And that's pretty good because when I looked at these, they say to add 3.5 ounces of water. So these aren't going to give you a lot of drink on their own, but if you mix these in with a the coffee, you have a nice mocha type cappuccino drink. So we're going to try a couple of those. Uh, I think I'm actually going to start though with the carne seca limon con chile handmade beef jerky. I've been looking forward to trying this out. Looks like beef jerky. It's funny, it almost has a, a bit of a, a fishy smell. Not, uh, I'm not saying it smells like fish, it's just, I guess, I guess the, um, the citrus smell coming off there kind of um, makes me think of like tuna fish or something. But this is different from a lot of other jerkies I've seen. You can kind of, looks like you can kind of see the uh, the chili on there, chili uh, peppers and stuff. Let's try this out. Yeah, it's good. Uh, right away, you get a little bit of the uh, the beef taste. It, it it does taste a bit more natural than most uh, beef turkeys I've had. You get a little bit of the beef taste, and then um, a little spice does kick in with the chili. Not overwhelming though, not at all. And I'm not getting a lot of the lemon, which I was looking forward to, but yeah, it's good. A little bit different, being uh, so natural. I think we're used to um, stuff that you get in the regular store-bought jerkies, and uh, it's a little bit different, but I do like it. I'm gonna try this uh, activated Peely, coconut oil and Himalayan salt. Much of a smell coming off there. I don't think I've ever had peely nuts before. I don't believe so, at least. You can see the salt on there. Well, it could be coconut. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a cross between a bunch of different nuts. It tastes a little bit like almonds, maybe a little bit of peanut, and I think the coconut is um, kind of uh, influencing the taste. I wouldn't really say it tastes like coconut, but I think it's sort of um, influencing the flavor. But uh, as you can see, I do like them. Yeah, I don't have any problem eating these. What is this? A, uh, about a half an ounce, 0.53 ounces serving here. So it's not a lot in here. Uh, but they do give you two of these in the keto box. They're definitely different and tasty. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and make up one of these drinks. So we have Lion's Mane Mushroom Elixir. Actually, let me see what these are. Uh, this one is for brain and nervous system. I think I might try that, because uh, my brain and nervous system could use some help. We have a uh, reishi mushroom elixir for stress and sleep. Chaga mushroom elixir, antioxidant properties. No, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Cordyceps mushroom elixir, energy and performance. And then we have our coffees. We have this one with cordyceps and chaga for performance. And this one with lion's mane and chaga for productivity. The uh, hot cocoa mixes, one with reishi, that's to relax, and one with cordyceps to energize. And this one is also dark and spicy. I'm gonna go ahead and use the reishi one to relax a little bit. Uh, I would do one of the coffees, but I'm gonna save those for my wife. She's more of the coffee drinker in the house. And uh, this is just to give us an idea without spending an hour just looking at the drinks. So the elixir mixes take eight ounces of water, at least I recommend. And the cocoa, as I said, 3.5 ounces of water, and the coffee is seven ounces. This is the Lion's Mane Mushroom Elixir. It almost smells like a uh, 
chocolate. There's not much of a smell coming off, but it's almost a chocolatey kind of smell. Could be some mushroom coming through. And yeah, the mushroom hot cocoa mix with reishi. And that definitely smells like chocolate. It smells like a, kind of like a semi-sweet chocolate chips. Not overly sweet or anything. So you get more of the chocolate, but you only add three and a half ounces of water. And I think it just smells like chocolate. I don't smell anything that would come across as mushroom. A little water to that one. That's yeah, probably about right. And a little bit more to this one. Let's try this uh, elixir for a brain and nervous system. Cheers. This basically tastes like a uh, like a tea. Not that I was expecting a big mushroom taste out of it, but um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't have a very uh, mushroomy kind of taste to it. It might be a little bit. It, it's almost like a cross between an instant tea and like an instant soup. Um, you know, possibly a soup that would have some mushroom in it, a mushroom flavoring. That's pretty good though. Let's try the cocoa. Not a very exciting cocoa uh, as far as cocoa goes, but obviously it has uh, other benefits. Seeing as how this one has reishi mushrooms and it's designed to help you relax. It almost feels like it could use a little uh, sweetener in it of all things. But not too bad. Right, next I want to try the chipotle lime mayo. And I'm actually going to try this out on some MRE crackers, which are probably not very keto friendly. and Probably wouldn't be recommended for a keto diet. They do have 29 grams of carbs or 10% of your daily intake of carbs. But Nice hiss. It's something that uh, I eat, and I think it'll be a, a good uh, way to taste the uh, mayo. I should mention that, as I said in the unboxing video, I think my wife is really going to like this. And the thing that's really cool about this is that I just about a week ago bought mayo, and it was the wrong kind. So I was kind of in the doghouse for that. But this has chipotle. She loves spicy stuff. It has avocado. Which, uh, she loves avocado and it's mayo. So, thank you, Keto Box, for saving me. There it is. As you would expect with all these things, the ingredients are pretty all natural. And this stuff also tends to be low in sugar. I think I forgot to mention that before. But it doesn't look much like mayo because uh, it has all the other stuff in it. And that's what's kind of cool about it. It smells good though. I can't think of what to describe what it smells like because the uh, chipotle seems to be coming through a little bit, the lime definitely, and uh, even the avocado. It's uh, really, uh, it really is nice. I mean, calling it mayo almost seems like it's limiting because uh, I think you could do a lot of cool things with this. I think this would probably be great as a salad dressing. Let's try a little bit on its own. It's actually got some little bits in there. I did notice in the ingredients it says lime granules. I didn't know what that was, but I'm guessing that's what I'm tasting, what I'm what I'm feeling actually. So in addition to not looking and smelling like regular mayo, it doesn't even feel like regular mayo. It's got a little extra extra thing to it. And this is the chipotle, it's kicking in. Pretty cool. It's not bad. I don't think it's really necessary to try it on the cracker, but I said I was gonna do it, so I'll do that. Yeah, I hate to go against the uh the whole keto thing. This is going to sound pretty bad, but I think this would be awesome on a BLT. I suppose you could do a, uh, a keto-friendly BLT, like uh, skipping the bread and just using the lettuce as a bread. So it would be just like bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and some of this mayo with no bread. But that's pretty good. That's actually, that's very good. It's a very interesting product. Like I said, they call it mayo, but it's a heck of a lot more than mayo, I think. And I'm going to do the Walnut Almond Cashew Trilogy Butter. I mentioned in the unboxing video, you can see that this is a pretty all-natural product. It basically just looks like uh, this weird mush. It almost looks like it's 
some of that brown mustard with the seeds in it. And it's because the ingredients are simply walnuts, almonds, and cashews. And that's it. So you're gonna have the oil and that from those. Let's check this out. Okay. Yep, you get the oil there. It's to be expected. This is something that's not heavily processed. It doesn't have any preservatives or any kind of unnatural ingredients in it. And that's uh, why the Best Buy date is coming up pretty quickly. It's not something, this is not shelf stable stuff like a lot of things I usually look at. It's not something you're gonna save for a couple of years. You kind of want to eat this pretty quickly. It smells kind of like almonds. That's kind of what's coming across. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit, or at least try to stir it up a little bit. This uh, chunk here in the middle is quite, uh, quite firm. Yeah, let me see if I can mix this up a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, so this is definitely a lot like a uh, store-bought processed peanut butter that's uh, very like smooth and one consistency, or even like the um, all-natural peanut butters. It's really kind of hard to mix up, but here it is. Just nuts all uh, mushed up. Yeah, and that's what it tastes like. You know, considering how natural it is, it's um, it's not what I'm used to. Certainly not what I'm used to in like a peanut butter or something like that. And obviously this isn't peanut butter. Maybe it's different different nuts. But um, yeah, considering it doesn't have sweeteners and all that kind of stuff, it is good. And they do recommend on the uh, package to try it on your favorite fruit. And I do like having peanut butter on my uh, apple sometimes. So why don't we try some Trilogy butter instead? And that's pretty tasty. It does. Uh, kind of feel like you're eating something healthy. Like I said, it tastes like those nuts. As opposed to regular almond butter, I'm definitely getting a little bit of the walnut coming through. I don't specifically taste the cashew, but obviously it's three different nuts. And considering that's all it is, it is very good. And yes, I did have to try it on the uh, MRE cracker too. That's good. And that leaves us with our moon cheese. Ingredients, just cheese. This is Gouda flavored, or it's not Gouda flavored, this is Gouda. The ingredients are Gouda cheese. Pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes. Yep, there's definitely some Gouda smell coming off there. I mentioned in the opening video that Gouda's not really my favorite cheese. And um, I almost wish uh, they had just thrown, happened to thrown in a uh, cheddar instead. But I'm sure it's going to be great. And uh, it does it actually look like little asteroids. I don't know if that's where the moon thing comes from, or it's the uh, dehydrated part, or the moon is made from cheese kind of thing. But um, kind of a neat look. Yeah, that's really cool. I like these. It's a lot like the, um, the Omeals Adventure Bites that I had, which was uh, freeze-dried cheese. Seems to be basically the same thing, but it's a, a little bit airier, I think. It's kind of like, like puffy. So it's cool because it's, um, you're eating cheese, but you're getting a crunch. And at the same time, it feels like you're eating a cracker. A cracker kind of a snack. But there's no cracker ingredients in there. It's just, just cheese. That's all that's in here. So, so that's pretty cool and kind of fun. There's a look at the June 2018 Keto Box. And I want to thank Mike Ziegler once again for sending this along to me. And thank you for watching.